All right, can you 3D print a picture? Let's find out here on today's video. Alright so today's video we're going to learn how we can actually 3D print a picture or specifically it's called a lithophane and what a lithophane is is any sort of image that's etched or molded into material could be porcelain it could be plastic in this case it's going to be the material we use in our 3D printers and the image will show up when it's illuminated from behind so we're going to go through the process how we can actually create that what it looks like and some of the options in which how you can display it right so I'm using Cura as my slicer program this is what I'm going to actually import my picture and to change my settings and then send it over to my 3D printer first thing you need to know is making sure that you have a good quality picture so what's going to define a good quality picture in this case you want something that's going to have good contrast so when you 3D print your picture right essentially it's going to come out like a black and white photo or it's going to give the illusion kind of like a black and white photo so you want to make sure you have enough highs and lows in there so we can differentiate and actually see the image so one image that i have just i did a quick google search i saw this picture here which to me it was really good for this demonstration so we have great contrast between the color the tower the trees the river and even the sky so we have some good levels of contrast here so i just simply downloaded this picture right off of google Alright once I get into Cora before I actually import that picture I am going to change a couple settings so I'm going to go into here and the few things you need to be aware of to make sure this works so one we're going to change the layer height so we want the layer height to actually be 0.1 millimeters we wanted this fine because that's what's actually going to help give us a detailed quality image if the layers are too thick you may not get as much detail as you would like so I haven't. Initial layer height of 0.2 millimeters and then my layer height for the rest is set to 0.1 all right so that's the first step set your layer height to 0.1 millimeters. next step if we go to infill infill has to be 100 so this is going to be a completely solid print we want that to be completely solid if not your infill pattern will actually show up a through the image which would obviously make it not look good so infill 100 and i make my infill pattern lines again infill layer thickness as well 0.1 millimeters Alright so we have that last thing that I like to do is go to build plate adhesion and I usually put a brim on there even though this it's a flat surface that's going to print occasionally we all know when you print something sometimes the corners can curl up so I like to have a brim on there just to make sure that it lays nice and flat while it is printing alright so biggest thing again just layer height 0.1 millimeters uh, infill 100 and I usually put a brim on there just to make sure that it's not going to peel off while it's printing alright so I have my print settings there. Now let's import this picture so same way you would import an STL file I'm going to import a JPEG so I have my picture now the height these settings we're going to go through these the height overall I'm going to say I found a good size is about 3 millimeters so could you go a little less sure could you go a little bit more sure but I found 3 millimeters is a pretty good range and notice something that says base millimeters I usually make that 0.4 millimeters so the total height of my object or the total thickness I should say of my image is going to be 3.4 millimeters and the way to look at it is like this the first couple layers so up to 0.4 millimeters thick that is going to be completely 100 solid the entire size of your picture after there is where it starts to actually print up the individual layers of the image and the more layers you have you could think of almost different shades of gray so each layer will get progressively darker and darker so if you have 
less layers you're going to have less contrast if you have more layers you're going to have more contrast you know within a reasonable range i found that three millimeters as my height with a base of 0.4 was a pretty good at area to get enough contrast in my images a width and depth this is the size of your picture so i'm going to leave this just as the size out it is right now we want darker is higher so the way a lithophane works is there's going to be light shining from behind so the thinner something is more light will come through making it look lighter and the thicker parts less light will shine through making it look darker so we want darker is higher if you have it the other way around you're actually going to get kind of like a negative of the image so we want darker is higher and I actually turned smoothing off you know I found that sometimes with smoothing turned on it kind of rounded over the edges or the different contrasting areas and it almost made the picture look blurry so I turned smoothing all the way off all right and then I'm going to hit OK You will see that now my picture is here so let's zoom and take a look so you can kind of make out that it's the picture again I'll pull that up here is my picture here and now you could see it on my build plate and if we rotate around and even kind of look at the side you could start to see right the different layers now right now it doesn't look like much but you can see that this is what the surface of my lithophane is going to look like and again it doesn't look like much but when the light shines through it should replicate almost like a black and white image of my picture so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to slice it and i'm going to just show you the preview so you can see what the layers would look like we'll get an estimate of time and then we're going to go print this out all right so just finish slicing so just to show you roughly how long this should take if you know a little bit about 3d printing you know can be time consuming so these pictures and again this isn't a huge one it's going to take about five and a half hours to print so on downside to this it does take a little bit doesn't use too much filament 22 grams based on the settings that i have so not too bad there but i'm going to go up to preview and let's rotate this around a little bit and let's take a look at some of the layers just to kind of show you what's going to happen while it's printing and understand how this works so first couple layers again should be completely solid which they are and you'll notice once we start to get a few layers and it's starting to build you know some of the points so these areas here that are kind of in red and green these are going to be the lightest points in my picture so imagine each layer is another shade darker all right so as i go up you can see a little more a little more a little more is being created you're starting to see the kind of the top and the frame you see the sky is is starting to take shape here and obviously as it Continues you get more and more detail ultimately until you're done and you have your image alright so let's go get this to print and once it's done we'll kind of take a look at it and see see how we can get it to light up alright. Right, so our lithophane just came off the printer so this is what it looks like right you can kind of make out what the image is again from the early portion of the video we know i downloaded a picture so this is what it looks like All right, we'll check out just from side view. You can see all the different heights and layers in there, but right now doesn't look like anything much. So the true way to really appreciate this is to illuminate this picture from behind. So you can do that in a couple different options. What I actually did too is one, I designed a frame that this could pop in. So this just kind of sits and held in by friction can kind of clip into place. And I have this little opening up top that you can hang it on a hook and possibly place it on a window and let natural light shine through so maybe anywhere in your house or an office or something like that you could have a picture illuminated from the natural light another option is i made my own little light box Let's take a look there we go so now the LEDs shining from behind right are really kind of highlighting the highs and the lows so we could clearly make out the simple tower you could see the tower you could get a really nice difference between the sky and the trees the river and again this is why I turn off smoothing as you could see every little detail you could see the bumps in the river you could see just the different textures of the trees really getting a full appreciation for that picture.
So it's a simple process easy way to create a picture but something really really cool that you can do with your 3D printer and again I think this offers a lot of possible options in terms of gifts in terms of something at work that you can create again whether you're a teacher or you're a student looking for something fun to do you can be as creative as you want with this alright so this is how you create a 3D printed picture or a litho. Theme again the whole process pretty straightforward. Pretty simple if you have any questions please be sure to comment below and I'll help you guys out as much as I can.